G'day Ziggy D here with another Path of Exile guide. In today's video I want to talk a bit about uh, a topic that I've been thinking a bit about while farming. I've been doing a lot of Act 2 and Act 3 farming my Infernal Blow Marauder and obviously that gives you quite a bit of time to think because you often don't have to think too hard when you're doing this farming. And for the purposes of this video I'm just going to jump back to Act 2 and uh, we're going to Phil Shrine because that's where I initially had the idea. Now this concept that I was thinking a lot about uh, is the idea of best practices make best players. And this is a quote I read somewhere a while back, and it's, uh, it's something I've, I've constantly thought about as well, because I notice, you know, when I'm playing these games, I, I, want, I really want to try and, uh, as much as I can, focus on, you know, how can I be a better player at all times? Uh, how can I make sure I'm always, you know, practicing the best practices, <laughs> so that when I actually need to use them, I am using them. So. Oftentimes when you're farming and you're in a place like Fell Shrine, and let's say Fell Shrine's pretty easy, it's pretty easy just to run up to these guys and know that I'm going to be able to kill these guys if I just do this. Like, yep, I can just attack them, they're going to explode. I'm probably not going to die most of the time, especially if you're playing in, like, Anarchy or Standard League, you're not too worried about deaths from, in, you know, you're not playing Hardcore League. Uh, it's pretty easy just to run up to these guys, smash them, and just uh, go through. In fact, in some cases, that might even be the fastest way to farm these particular zones. However, is that really the best practice? Now let's pretend, instead of farming in Fell Shrine and it's super, really super easy, uh, we're instead trying to push end game content and we're trying to, you know, we're using all of our tools at our disposal. Now in my build I have a bunch of different things that I can use. I, I can use Leap Slam to increase my mobility and also to reposition in the middle of a fight. I have Warlord's Mark to curse enemies which will give me increased life leech and will also help keep my flask nice and full. I also have my Granite Flask to increase my armor when I'm in combat, and I have Endurance Charges, which if I'm really trying to, you know, make sure I'm maintaining best possible practices, then I'm trying to make sure I 100% maintain those Endurance Charges at all times. So while I can just smash these guys and jump from pack to pack, maybe using my mobility skill a bit, and just running up and smashing these guys, I should at all times, if I really want to, you know, focus on improving my play in general, uh, be practicing those best practices. <laughs> so hopefully that makes sense. So so we'll we'll do that now instead of uh, instead of being lazy, instead of taking the lazy farming approach, let's instead get our habits in correctly. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run up, I'm gonna curse these guys, I'm gonna use my enduring cry, I'm gonna pop my granite fast, and then I'm gonna kill these guys. Now I have my seven endurance charges, I'm gonna find the next pack to run up to, and I'm gonna refresh my refresh my endurance charges, cast Warlord Mark again, and same thing, if, and if I'm in a you know, position, if, because I'm using Warlord's Mark, I can pretty much spare my Granite Flask as well, so I'm going to use another Granite Flask. And what this means is like, there's 0% chance now that I'm going to die in this zone doing this, well you know, the, the smallest possible chance. But the most important part of this concept, and this is something that extends beyond Path of Exile and into all games, especially StarCraft 2 is one that I find is really important, uh, is that if you're just taking the lazy approach because you're just doing easy content, then what you're doing is you're training yourself to take the lazy approach. Then when it comes to a time when you need that muscle memory, so this thing, doing this and getting my endurance charges and popping my granite flask is all muscle memory, as well as, you know, noticing your health is low and leap slamming away or using your potions at the right times. This is all muscle memory, and this is something you only develop through practice. Now, if you're farming for a long time and you're often going to be in easier zones just to, you know, gear up your character and get some experience, then you're, whatever you're doing in those zones, you're committing to muscle memory. So if I'm just, you know, wandering from pack to pack, just, uh, you know, smashing them without really thinking about it and without practicing, you know, using my skills correctly and using your rotations and using all of that stuff in the best possible way you can, then you're going to be committing to memory, you know, a bad way of playing, essentially. Uh, let's let's relate to this to a few other games. StarCraft 2 is another really big one where this was something I thought about a lot. Uh, in StarCraft 2, you're playing a 1v1 match against an opponent, and you're getting to the point in the game where, all right, this guy's pretty dead. Uh, I don't really need to worry so much about making sure I'm building as many units as possible. I don't really need to worry about, uh, you know, Per being perfect with my probe and pylon production and making sure I have all the supply. I don't need to be perfect with my scouting because this guy's about to GG anyway. This guy's pretty much dead. I don't really need to do that. However, the best players that I've always noticed and something I always strive to do when I was playing 
was to ride until the game finishes and then probably you know let's say one second until one second after the game finishes you should be playing at 100 percent all of the time because you're committing all that to muscle memory so let's say you're and this has often resulted in wins for me where uh you know i otherwise would have lost as well so that's that's pretty interesting in its own right but basically you know you get to a game where you think you're pretty much won, you get lazy and you stop you know practicing those best practices you stop doing all those things you should be doing all the time if you want to play at your best at, at peak at peak performance uh, and then sometimes you know you're actually going to lose the game but you're going to get the occasional death in an easy zone because you're being lazy uh, and you're going to get the occasional loss in Starcraft 2 because you're being lazy. Uh, I was also thinking about this a bit when I was playing Final Fantasy XIV the other day, where you have these different skill rotations, and uh, against easy mobs at the start of the zone, you can pretty much just mash one skill over and over again, or just mash skills randomly, and uh, you're not going to have any problems, you know, you're going to kill them, you're never going to die. But if you really want to make sure that by the time you get to end game, uh, you are a good player, <laughs> You want to be practicing your skill rotations and doing everything like you would if this was, you know, a boss and if your life depended on it, essentially. And I think that's a, I think that's really key for uh, any video game that you're trying to get good at. And, you know, this isn't about not having fun, certainly, because one of the biggest things for me about having fun in video games is trying to be the best player I can be and trying to, you know, find creative and interesting ways to um, be the best player I can be. And, you know, committing, committing to muscle memory those best practices and always making sure that I'm practicing the best things I possibly can by like keeping up my endurance charges and making sure I'm always cursing enemies even if I don't need to. Uh, I think I get a lot more out of games that way. Maybe you guys will too. Anyway, hopefully you found this little musing sort of uh, guide video interesting. Uh, it's a concept I've been thinking a fair bit about. Yeah, anyway, <laughs> that's it for now. I'm Ziggy D, and thanks for watching.